David. Thanks, Dad. And the news is not good for Ian Mackey. Darren Campbell's good run there has put Ian Mackey out of a place as one of the fastest losers. But so far, with uh, another couple of heats to go, or th three heats, in fact, uh, Campbell is the fastest loser. In these events, the two first past the post, qualifiers of right, and the four fastest losers go through into the semi-finals. And Campbell is the fastest loser at the moment. Well, now we come to heat number four. Marlon Davinish of Coventry goes for Gritton in lane one. Powell Jamaica in lane two. Zarignon, Ivory Coast in lane three. Pokomoski, Russia in lane four. Ogun Koya, Nigeria in lane five. Marsh, America in lane six. Markalidis, Cyprus in lane seven. And to four of Ghana in lane eight. Just two certain to qualify. Michael Marsh, former Olympic 200 meter champion, now concentrating on 100 meters. Third in the US 100 meter championship. He's 29, a best time this season of 9.97. And two of these second round heats have been one inside 10 seconds. Student of psychology, lives in Houston, Texas. Marlon De Devonish, only 21, 10.22, his best this season, 10.26 in the heat this morning, former European 200 ju meter junior champion, English schools champion only two years ago, coached by Wayne Morant, second recently in the under 23 European championship, goes in lane one. And this track is built for speed. You may wonder how these heats are seeded in the second round. They're seeded by the qualifying times of the first round. And the reason Green and Bolden came together, the two fastest men in the world, is that Green eased down and clocked a 10.3 of slope clocking, and so they were thrown together. Two fastest men in this are Ogun Koya in lane five and Marsh in lane six. Could be lane one. Which is young Devonish. Yep. Well, they do say in the hundred meters the start is everything. You can lose the race at the start. The marksman just having a word with him. There's no marker gun on the block. I don't think yes, there has, I think. Yellow against yellow, though, doesn't show at that angle. So the reminder, again, of the lineup. Devnish in lane one. Powell in lane two. Zarignan in lane three. Pokomowski in lane four. Ogun Koya in lane five. Marsh in lane six. That's him. Mark Alidis in lane seven to four in lane eight. An unusual tension about second round of heats tonight with only two sure to go through. Down they go. Away well in lane three was Zerignan, but also going well. Coming through now is Marsh, and Marsh comes storming away to win it, and Zerignan may have got second place. Devonish was, a, well, sixth or seventh. 10.05, the winning time. And they were running to a slight headwind this time. This is the fourth heat. All the others have had perfect following wins of about 1.5. It's now 0 0.3 against. Zregnan got away well. He's a very powerful athlete. 
I take it away. He wasn't too quick off the box, but quick into his running. Alongside him, Powell of Jamaica going well, but now Marsh comes through very smoothly indeed. Oh, on the near side, oh, to four of Garner came through very late, and I think he's still second place.